A source of steady income doesn't always come up with guaranteed job satisfaction, but is it always necessary to make a choice between a job that pays the bills and one that puts a smile on your face? Rowena Naidu has achieved success in the web design and corporate branding business while also making a space in her life for her passion for baking. It's an intriguing career recipe, so we met Rowena to find out how she's created her little piece of heaven on earth. Depending on where you are in the world, they're known as cupcakes, fairy cakes, or even buns, which is what they're called in Ireland. For Rowena Naidu, they're more than just good to eat, because as the founder of Cupcake Heaven, she's built a growing business on these delightful little mouthfuls. It started off at home, and now it's a full-blown enterprise. But passion remains an essential ingredient, which you can see and taste in every item. Heaven is a place on earth of famous song lyrics by Belinda Carlisle. I think I have found exactly what she's talking about in the form of Rowena Naidu's Cupcake Heaven. This entrepreneur is not only bringing heaven to earth with her mouth-watering treats, but she's also empowering many women while she's at it. As the head baker, Rowena has turned her cupcakes into miniature works of art. Zaki, welcome! Welcome to heaven. Oh, I can imagine. I had to fight off many a male presenter to be here today. Oh my gosh, I'm sure they're all going to be extremely jealous after this shoot. <laughs> Rowena, you went from IT to baking. How did this come about? Basically, I've been baking since I was eight years old. And then when I had to finally choose a career path as I got older, my mother was dead set against me becoming a chef. So I had to go and follow a path of more stability which is why I chose computer science. What ignited the spark to go into the business of baking? At my child's first birthday party, naturally I made the cake and cupcakes, and my friends were like, what are you doing in IT? And one of my friends is the master franchisor for a very well-known coffee shop, and he was like, I'm looking for a cupcake supplier. And one thing led to another, and two weeks later I was supplying him. Who taught you how to bake? Were you naturally drawn to this creative side of yourself? Do you remember back in the day when we would go to the library and were allowed to hire three books? I would literally get baking books. And for that entire two weeks, I would have those books. I would read and experiment and all of that. I've never gone to any professional training at all. Speaking about experimenting, these look spectacular. What would you recommend I try? Definitely the salted caramel. It's got a chocolate base and a salted caramel buttercream on top. I'm literally speechless. This ganache is so decadent, but not too sweet. It's divine. <laughs> Would you show me how to make them? I know it's probably a secret. It is a secret, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to make them, but I won't give you the ingredients, if that's okay. Thank you. Hello, ladies. Hello. What are you busy doing? We finished pouring our vanilla cupcake, and we are ready to bake it. I'm very much looking forward to trying. Butter, sugar, eggs and flour are still the basic ingredients, but Rowena and her team have taken their product to a new level. So where do we begin? Okay, Zaki, I'm going to get you to pour some vanilla cupcakes yourself now. What makes your cupcakes different to other bakers? I want it to be different in terms of using real and organic ingredients, especially after I just had kids and it was the first time that I was exposed to what we actually ingested. Mm -hmm. So we use free-range eggs and real butter. How do you go about creating these masterpieces? It's all about experimenting, Zaki. We have a few base flavors that we work with and then it's coming to the shop, experimenting and deciding whether they work or not. How do we go about the next step? Okay, so you're gonna grab that cinnamon streusel. So it's basically a lot of butter and sugar and cinnamon in there. And we're gonna drop little spoonfuls into the little cupcakes. Just a dollop like that? Yep. And then you're gonna swirl it around okay. so that it infuses into the batter. Oh, like little artworks. Brilliant, you're doing so well. Rowena, Cupcake Heaven is run by a group of amazing women. Is this part of your business philosophy? Yes, it is. Because I started the business without any professional qualifications, I'm a firm believer that passion and creativity is all you need. All my staff have no qualifications when it comes to this. I've personally trained them myself, and I love empowering all the staff that I have. I'm going to pop these in the oven, and I have some cooled ones downstairs already, and we're going to go decorate. That is my favorite part. Yay! Decorating is done by hand with an artist's attention to detail. So, Zach, this is our decorating room. Minoka's busy finishing off some toppers for a high tea party we're having shortly. Wow! How do you create such intricate flower sculptures out of fondant? 
Zach, it's a mold. We just put in some fondant, pop it out, and you're done. And the gold paint? Edible gold paint. Of course it's gold. Rowena, what unique qualities do women bring to the table? I think, Zach, definitely the fact that we're more sensitive creatures. We definitely have an extra bit of finesse when it comes to dealing with this industry because everything has to look pretty at the end of the day. Women handle stresses differently, especially considering the fact that most of us are mums and we've probably had screaming babies the entire night. But when we get to work, we understand what we have to do and we get on with it. Rowena, what words of wisdom do you have for anyone who's struggling to choose between a more stable career path or following their passion? My words of wisdom is that you definitely have to ensure that you have some sort of financial stability before you can pursue your dream because it's not as easy as people make it out to be. And you have to be able to just keep your head above water and carry on pushing through. Zach, I'm going to leave you with Minoka to finish these off and I'm going to go to the front and finish setting up for a high tea event that we're hosting. Thank you for such a treat of a day. Only a pleasure. So Minoka, does this go in the fridge? Nope, you just pop them out. Just like this? Just like that. Okay. Oh! There you go. How do I glue this on? So we have royal icing, which is edible. It's icing sugar and egg white. That's perfect. You can pop it onto your cupcake now. Just straight on? Straight on. Wow, perfect. The finished products certainly look heavenly, but will they pass the all-important taste test? <laughs> Judging by the smiles and the faces of the little guests, they wouldn't have been surprised to hear that fairies had done all the work with the help of a little magic. They say a balanced life is a cupcake in each hand. I don't know who they are, but I agree with them 100%. Rowena Naidu is following her passion to bring joy to so many people, and I hope this sweet story is inspiring you to follow yours.